Hello and welcome to this video in the ClearPass workshop series. The series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wireless, wired, active directory and much more. In the previous video, we set up the initial configuration for ClearPass so we can access our ClearPass appliance, uh, appliance uh, via the web. We set up updates and um, everything else. So the next step will be setting up the cluster. So we will have four appliances. So um, I set up uh, two more. I have here the 10.12, uh, the 20.11 and the 30.11. So the first two will be in the same subnet and the other ones will be in uh, different subnets. So you can use clustering both uh, in the same subnet and other subnets, for example, if you have different branches. Basically, it's very simple to join a system to the cluster. So this um, has been uh, the same configured as the first appliance. So we enrolled the virtual image in uh, VMware. Uh, we just uh, applied the license and now we can log in with admin and eTips123. We will log into the appliance and uh, to join the system to the domain, we go to administration to the server manager here under the server configuration. We see now our CPM one sub subscriber um, is here and we here we have the option make subscriber. So make subscriber. It will ask us for the publisher IP 10.1.10.11 and the publisher password. And the publisher password is the same password that you set for the app admin account. So because it's a new appliance, we can uh, skip uh, backing up the databases before this operation, because I'm convinced there is no data in this system. So what it will now do, it will reach out to the publisher and then it will add itself in the publisher configuration. And after that, it will start syncing all database, all configuration, and it will be um, yeah, basically part of the same cluster. So all configuration can be done on the publisher at that moment. So it's stopping services and um, yeah, let's speed this thing a bit up and see what's happening. So the make subscriber completed. It uh, took about four minutes that we fast forwarded. And um, if everything is okay, so now here on the publisher. So let's see, yeah, so it's uh, still down. So it's uh, syncing up. And uh, in a few minutes, this will be up uh, as well. So we have uh, two nodes that are uh, in green. So for now, let's do the same on the second subscriber. So we log in again. Go to the server manager. We make this one a subscriber. 10.1.10.11. And the app admin password do not backup. And this is running as well. And here's our fourth appliance. The default login admin eTips123. And we join this to the cluster as well. So server configuration, make subscriber, publisher IP. and the app admin password. So these are running in the background as well. So let's see what the status is at the moment. We can see that our subscriber, so um, this one, the 20 and the 30 um, are uh, syncing, um, but the subscriber here is already synced. So. What you may see here is that we have two appliances that are in the same subnet and two that are in different subnets. What we can do with the same, uh, with two in the same subnet is we can create a virtual IP 
that will be uh, on one of these uh, systems. So we can use that for web access or uh, radius access or stuff like that. So we have a yeah highly available uh, system or IP um, um, available. So what we can do here in the server configuration, we can configure a virtual IP. So let's make that 10.1.10, uh, 10 .10, uh, where the primary node is uh, my publisher and the secondary node is my subscriber. And we have that uh, enabled. Um, and now the uh, virtual IP has been um, added. So it's uh, active. And let's see if that worked. So in theory, we now should be able to go here to the 10.10. Uh, .10. You can see that the virtual IP is available. So we created a virtual IP now on the publisher and the subscriber. And the other two are still uh, syncing and uh, yeah, getting into the cluster. So in the next video, uh, we will have all appliances uh, joined to the cluster and in sync. Um, but this video was showing you how to set up uh, clustering and how to set up the virtual IP. So for this video, I would like to uh, thank you. And uh, if you uh, like this video, please uh, show your likes, uh, show your comments. And if you subscribe to the video, we will have a next video available and you will be notified that there is a next video. And probably the next video will be on upgrading the whole installation, because as you can see, it's now running here on uh, a 660 release and uh yeah that's old software so we want to uh upgrade it so um keep waiting for that and uh we'll see you back in that next video so thank you for watching